China launch plans more than 70 launches in 2023. Helsinki, China's state-owned and commercial space sector actors are planning a total of more than 70 launches across 2023 as the country's space activities continue to expand. The China Aerospace Science and Technology Corporation, CASC, the country's main space contractor and maker of the Long March rocket series, will again aim for more than 50 launches this year, according to an announcement from an early January meeting. China launched 64 times in 2022. Combined launch plans of CASC and commercial actors could see the country top 70 launches this year from three inland spaceports. Among CASC's major launches will be two Shenzhou crewed missions to the Tiangong Space Station and a supporting pair of Tianzhou cargo spacecraft. It will also carry out a range of civil, military, science and commercial missions. The Long March 5th will be in action again, having last flown in 2020 to launch TIANWEN-1 to Mars and the Chang'e-5 lunar sample return mission. Its manufacturer, CASC's China Academy of Launch Vehicle Technology, CALT, did not reveal what the flight would entail. The Low Earth Orbit, LEO, version of the rocket, the Long March 5B, will likewise fly again, having launched three space station modules across the past two years. It could carry the Zunshan Space Telescope to co-orbit with Tiangong late in the year, perform a test launch for sending large numbers of satellites into LEO for the country's communication megakist, or launch a new test of China's new generation crew spacecraft. The latter is designed to increase crew carrying capacity to LEO, while a larger, 21 metric ton version will be used for future crewed lunar missions. The older hypergolic Long March 2nd, 3 and 4 series rockets are expected to be active regularly, as will the newer, kerosene liquid oxygen Long March 7th, 7A and 8 rockets. CASC recently announced a new production line for Carolox engines. The solid Long March 11th and JIELONG-3 will also launch, both from land and sea. A failure of one of the mainstay rockets could greatly impact China's launch rate in 2023. The last Long March failure occurred in April 2020. China is expected to grow its Earth observation and reconnaissance capabilities further continuing a high rate of launches of Yaogan and Gaofen satellites, while also launching replacement satellites for the Beidou GNSS constellation. Communications, meteorological and ocean observation satellites will also be part of the manifest. Science missions will notably include the Einstein probe in November and the Sino-French Space Variable Objects Monitor, SVOM, in mid-2023. CASC's sister state-owned defense contractor, CASIC, and its subsidiary XSpace are planning numerous launches of its solid Kuaizhou-1A and larger KUAIZHOU-11 solid rockets following the pair both returning to flight last year. The launchers will likely carry satellites for CASIC's Xingyun Internet of Things constellation and mainly commercial payloads. CAS Space, an offshoot of the Chinese Academy of Sciences, CAS, will follow up the debut success of its LIJIAN-1, ZK-1A, solid rocket with more launches this year. Galactic Energy completed its first launch of the year in early January and, following a string of five successes from five attempts, is looking to launch 8 to 10 series minus 1 solid rockets this year including a possible inaugural sea launch in the second half of the year. Its Carolox Palace-1 rocket is now expected to have its test flight in 2024. The firm could help CAS spin-off CGST construct its Jilin-1 Earth Observation Constellation after launching five such satellites in November. CGST announced last fall that it intends to double the size of the constellation to 300 satellites by 2025.